it's me, Mel Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. We are talking foundations today. I literally just ran into Sephora last night to grab the little birthday gift, but I walked by the one size Turn Up The Base Full B Foundation. If y'all remember, I did do a video on the Beauty Blur Balm. I've actually done the, I had the primer, I had the spray, I had the powder from them. I did a video on that as well. But I walked past this and I said, you know what? Let me try it because although I tried the other foundation, it's not the one that I grabbed first. I'll be honest. So I wanted to see what this one had to offer. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts and my first impression on the Turn Up The Base Full Beat Foundation, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into it. I do have the Secure The Blur Primer from one side. So that is what I'll be putting on first and kind of letting that sit. I've been putting on my primer with a brush lately, but let's get into the details of the foundation itself. So it retails for $44 at Sephora, um, and that is where I grab this, y'all know, I always say, Sephora does samples. So if you like this product or if you are liking the finish of it that we've come out with today, just go grab your little sample. Uh, but it's $44. It does come in 38, I believe, 38 shades. Now, I'm going to be doing um, deep, Dark Deep 45G. When I went to Sephora, actually, just last night, they had 25, which was the next shade that I saw up. And when I swiped 25, it was too light. And I was kind of shook because in the bottle, it looked like my shade. It is a frosted bottle. So make sure you check, like swipe it in the store before you just try it because it looked like my shade and it was not. And they neck the next shade they had was 45, which is like my summer shade, but I'm gonna go with it and just hopefully it works today. But I do see that they have a 35, which maybe was out of stock in my Sephora because this is relatively new. So we're just gonna try 45 today and just hope it all works out. Now this finish is supposed to be full coverage versus the, um, sec not Secure the Blur, what's the other one? So this is like a Beauty Blur Balm, so this is medium to full coverage, but the new foundation is supposed to be full coverage. So we're supposed to get full coverage, matte, liquid, soft finish. So I'm gonna go in with my brush. I'm just gonna do a flat brush. I have not put this on my face yet. Okay. She's full coverage. No scent. Oh yeah, she's full coverage. Oh, I like that, that's full coverage. Now I will say, in the summertime, I mean in the winter, this is probably gonna be a little deep for me. Um, you can see it's blending with my neck and my chest, but I have lighter areas on my face. I feel like most um, most of us have, you know, you're a couple different browns on your face. But with the concealer and stuff, I will be able to easily make this work, especially this time of year. Yeah, that's a good, that's actually, okay. 25 was just way too light. So 25 is supposed to be dark, deep, 25 in dark deep with neutral undertones and then you have 35 which is 35 is dark deep with neutral golden undertones and then 45 is supposed to have dark deep with just golden undertones so with 38 shades and i kind of looked at some of the lighter shades too it does sound like they did a pretty good job of not only just doing tones and shades but also making sure you hit the different um undertones a lot of times we get like dark deep in our deeps and then they kind of lose us in the golden neutral undertone. But this has like neutral golden, regular golden, all kind of shades. I'm gonna switch brushes just for some of these areas. I'm trying to not get foundation on my hairline. So here's the finish right now. I just did one easy layer. She's definitely full coverage. Not in a bad way, because it still feels light. It still feels wearable. I don't know if, I'm just gonna put more on just to see what she could really do. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I can get foundation fatigue where it's just like, what else do we, what else can we have? Like, how many different ways can we put on foundation? But there's 800 different kinds of bread, 800 different kinds of water, so you know, you never know. But with the last, with the Turn Up The Base um, BBB Cream, this is the Turn Up The Base Full Beat. There we go. With the BBB Cream, I didn't find myself replacing my go-to foundation. So I wanted to see if this was a little bit more of my alley. So I have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation along my jawline. 
And this has done a really good job without me color correcting, setting with powder, or anything like that of covering that. So let's go ahead in and see how she blends with other products. It doesn't feel heavy. I can tell that I have foundation on, but when it says full coverage immediately, I kind of expect that. So I'm not mad at that, but I do like the coverage. Again, she's my bronzy shade. I know in the wintertime this is going to be too dark. I will probably be closer to um, 35, maybe even 25 in the winter winter. But again, that's why I say get samples before you end up buying three different $44 foundations trying to find your shade. And I assume they don't put them back out, but I just don't like to be wasteful. So test it out. I'm just gonna do a little bit here. I'm always playing around with where I put my concealer just to see. This is the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camel Concealer. Really good drugstore concealer. If you are looking for something a little bit more affordable. I'm gonna let this dry down. I'm actually gonna put a teeny bit of Pat McGrath in the corner of my eyes. I'm gonna let this dry down and then we'll blend it to see how she blends. And I am gonna go in today with the one size um, setting powder in that light pink shade. I've done a video on this more than once actually. And of course we're setting it with the Until Dawn, which I actually, sounds like I need a little bit more, but this is just so good. This mixed with all nighter, your face isn't going anywhere. Okay, let's start to blend her and just see what she's giving us. I am going to do my own little personal wear test because I am going to lunch today and I'll be having this on for a little while, so okay. Let's blend her out. I like to start outward and work my way inward so I don't end up with a really like high concealer line. Love this Real Technique brush. It does say you can apply this foundation with your fingers, a sponge, or a brush. I am gonna always choose brush, especially when I'm going for a full coverage foundation. That's blending really well. You know what, I started this like, do we need another foundation? And I was ready to kind of be over it because I don't know, I just have been trying a lot of foundations, but I really like this. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna wanna buy this. Right now, as many foundations as I've tried, nothing has been beating me grabbing my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation when I want skin and then the Soft Matte NARS when I want like a really matte coverage they're both just really good but this looks really good too oh no i want to be pessimistic so bad i want to take that foundation brush and just kind of blur those lines on the edge a little bit i like a really golden center in my face and then just taking my little old school triangle brush and triangle brush triangle sponge Putting a little bit of that pink powder, just a little bit, and dabbing that right under the eye. I do not bake, I just kind of press my powder right into the under eye just to lock it in. And the pink does a good job of balancing. I normally go with the yellow, but the pink does a really good job of balancing. I will probably honestly invest in their new, um, their golden shade that they have, but the pink does balance because sometimes I get a little carried away with the yellow. This is a really good matte. I can tell like, you know, a lot of times you'll finish and it has kind of that dewy, oh, I have to set it kind of look. This is really good in matte immediately. This is just that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just to warm and chisel up my face a little bit. Yeah, this is really, no, this is really pretty. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is good. If you're looking for a foundation and you need a new foundation, I'm not saying I wouldn't try this one because this is really pretty. And it's blending with everything nicely. I'm gonna take a picture and like take a look outside just to kind of see natural light, but this is pretty. Been obsessed with this Juvia's Place pencil lately. This is in brownie. Literally just need a little bit of liner. Honestly, like looking at it right now, it doesn't even look like I need to set it. Like it looks really good as is. And then MAC, I think this is in, yeah, this is in Myth. What a goodie, but oldie but goodie. And of course, K 
cannot finish without finishing. Oh, it just kept spraying by itself. Maybe that's why it's empty. Okay, so this is the face right now. We didn't conce we didn't um, color correct. We didn't do any under setting. We didn't do any setting powder over it. Just a simple spray, quick face. Y'all see, this was in like real time. This was like a 10 minute face. So, what do we think? Overall thoughts, I like it more than the BBB cream. Um, 38 shades is a good range to begin with. And I like that they focus on not only just the shades, but also the different undertones. It has a nice coverage. It was full coverage immediately. I didn't have to build. Not scented. It seems like a pretty solid foundation. So for one size to have dropped this, I feel like this is their first real foundation. Don't quote me because the other one's supposed to be a beauty blur bomb. This is really good and it's comparable to others as far as pricing. So, okay, one size. I mean, y'all came through with the Until Dawn immediately. The powders are good. The primer is good. So far, the, the one size brand is doing very good. So I would definitely be keeping an eye out for more from them. Um, let me know your thoughts on this foundation. Do you have foundation fatigue? Is it like all the foundations? Is it too much? Are you excited for more foundations? I'm always going to try new stuff, but I just like to know what you guys think. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.